Vote for your favorite colors. The Instant Runoff Way. Now with with fractions. fractions. We already showed you how instant runoff elections work when there's only one winner. But when there's more than one winner, it's a little more complicated. We have five colors to choose from, and we're going to end up with three winners. To start, each voter chooses a favorite color, a second choice, and a third. All right, purple is my first choice, yellow comes in second, and I'll put blue in third place. Now we need a scoreboard. There were 36 votes cast. There will be three winners. In order for a color to win, it needs more than a quarter of the vote. That's because if a color gets that much, then it's mathematically impossible for it to lose. 36 divided by 4 is 9, and we need just over that. So plus 1 is 10. 10 votes is the finish line. Make it there, and you're one of the three winners. So let's count the votes. No one's reached the finish line yet. That means it's time for round two. And orange got the fewest votes, so it's out. Everyone who voted for orange first now gets their second choice. Purple reached the finish line. In fact, purple has more votes than it needs. That means each purple voter can take back a fraction of their vote and still leave purple with enough to win. Under instant runoff rules, that's exactly what they get to do. Purple has two votes to spare. And that gets divided among the 12 purple voters. So each of them gets one-sixth of their vote back. And that little piece will go to their next choice. Now blue has reached the finish line. No votes to spare. So so no no more more fractions. fractions. Green is in last place. You know the drill. Most of these votes are for colors that have already won or are already out. We call those ballots exhausted. Yellow didn't quite make it to the finish line, but there's no one else left. So we have our three winners. The instant runoff way.